Hello, it's Rachel Lawson here again with the next of our community chats for the Drupal Association Elections 2020. And this week I'm with Imra over in uh, the Netherlands. Hello, Imra, how are you? Hi, Rachel, I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me in this interview. And um, I'm very grateful to be uh, part again in the, uh, the board elections on the community elected board member. So thank you. Ah, no. It's great to have you. Is it, we, we are so lucky uh, that we have 10 actually really incredible candidates. Yes, I'm going to be really happy whoever wins. So as far as I'm Agreed. concerned, we're already, we're already there, you know. Um, so I was, just, I was just trying to think actually back when, I, when, 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 we, when we first met. Uh, I can't remember. It's like we've always been there. <laughs> yes. So that is the same for me. <laughs> and I, th I think, uh, I mean, it was around DrupalCon London 2012, I believe. Something. Oh my God. Yeah, it could be. So yeah, it feels like, feels like a long time, but um, I think somewhere around that time. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It just seems so long ago now. So much has happened um since then and, and you know the world has changed and everything and you know so DrupalCon London you know that nearly didn't happen because there was rioting in, in the right. actual street where the conference center was two weeks before ah there was all right yeah I did we did not notice at all so we had a mm. great time anyways <laughs> yeah it was good we had a really good time I remember yeah. that it was it was a good place yeah. So I thought, you know, get us together and similar to the other candidate chats that we've been doing, just ask a few questions, find out more about you so yep. that people know who to vote for and, and so on. And I thought I'd start with something that I know is very close to your heart because you're involved in many different ways. And that's around building community. Right. Uh, do you want to tell us what that means to you and how you get involved? Yeah, so, so I think, you know, from day one, I've been advocating about our community and, you know, the passion, the passion that is in the Drupal community. Uh, you know, I, for one, as a person, I'm a very strong believer in, in like, socially sustainable ecosystems, right? In, in like, sharing as opposed to, uh, to a, a licensing model or proprietary thing. So I'm, I'm very fond of that. And Drupal is a very powerful example of how, that sort of thing can become great. So, so this is one, um, and I, 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 for one, I'm very strong about connecting people around that concept and around things that we do. And I, I noticed that actually rubs off on people. You know, when, we, when I meet new people, whether it be journalists or clients or, or maybe new talent and developers, you know, when you start telling, when we start telling about our story and the things that we do, it starts to rub off on them. And, and you know, they actually, some of them are actually, they join, they, they purchase Drupal, they adopt Drupal. Uh, and I think that's a magical thing. So that's for me is building, building community, you know, holding on to our own, but also expanding and growth. And, and I'm very much in that latter part. And that's really interesting. And in fact, actually, it sounds like what you do is you take that community that we have and, and, and bring it out. And you're talking about Drupal all the time, which almost yeah. leads into my next question, which is around advocating for Drupal. So what can you tell me about that? What can you talk about how you see how we advocate for Drupal now and right. maybe in the future once yeah. you're, you're yeah. on the board? Yeah, so I've, you know, I, I've been in, 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 in roles advocating Drupal professionally for, for the bigger part of my life. Uh, mm -hmm. That includes larger agencies, you know, even, even like a thousand or so co-workers advocating Drupal within our company as well as, you know, to outsiders. Also expanding the role for, for the development teams you know, I've been like like a Drupal evangelist on that part, and also I'm very proud of my you know my my role taking part in in getting one of the largest ports in the world uh, run Drupal, and there were many factors Ooh. involved, many people were involved, but you can feel it when you tell someone your highest truth. You know, when it comes from your heart, you are touching other 
others, right? Whether it's marketing managers or contract managers or content editors, and I find this so empowering. So that is, that is to me about advocating for Drupal now. And as for the future, I think there is a big challenge that we as a community, but also the Drupal Association has is, is advocating Drupal internally. Right, so so from the community towards the Drupal Association and vice versa, uh, advocating amongst ourselves. So, I think there is a big challenge for us to, you know, you need to have people that are willing to, you know, keep keep you know keep the developers and the development community going and get get the talking off their backs and have others do the talking. And I'm, I'm you know, this yeah. is something that I'm good at, and I'm I'm willing to help and relay what's happening uh, within our community and the needs that it has towards the DA and vice versa. I like it, yeah, sounds good. So it sounds like you, you, you're you coming at this from a position of lots of experience. Mm -hmm. um, so it sounds like that's something that's worth describing. So can you tell us about board positions that you've held in the past or maybe still holding and what you're learning from those that applies to the Drupal Association Board. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> so I've, I've been part of the, the board of our, our own region, like the Dutch Drupal Association for mm. I think, since 2013. Um, I've been chair of the board for the past few years. And I think much of the challenges that we have happening worldwide and we have happening in other regions, I mean, it's the same with us, maybe on a smaller scale, right? So um, I think one of the things that is, you know, that happened just, that was just, that was just happening a few days ago that was, that was happening around the, um, you know, the, the voting and, and the, the, um, the membership commitment that you need to have for that, right? That's happening like on a global scale and, and the discussion that is happening around that is something that we, you know, that we see in our country too and that we have to deal with as a board in our country as well it's much similar, it's actually actually the same, um, but we do it on a smaller scale, if you will. So um, yeah, I think that, that, that the things that we can, that I, that I, that I learn from our region or, or, you know, the European region and the countries that I've been working in um, could help me, you know, convey the feelings and the, and the you know, the, the ways of looking at things towards the board and vice versa. So, that is where I will be looking to um, to help add my experience to the board. That'd be really useful. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So as we, we talked at the start, we've been, we we both seem to have been here for quite a while doing Drupal and learned yeah. lots. Just any particular favorite memories from that time? Or oh, so many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know it's I of of course you know you'll you'll uh, there's too many to choose from. If if I were to pick a few, uh, I mean, you know the Drupal cons have been great. Obviously, um, it was great to, you know, I was part of of of, of a smaller shop, Crimson, at the time uh, of Drupal Communic. Which turned out into into Wunderkra at the time. That was that was a of wonderful course. moment. Yeah. I remember having Dries in our office uh, even before that. I think it was 2008, and it, and it, you know I was still able to call him on a cell. Uh, oh know, no way! Time, <laughs> yeah. So I mean that was I'm very proud of that. That you know that that could still happen at that time. I mean he's still approachable, but I don't expect him to answer my uh, my call when I when I ring him on a cell. Um, another moment, I mean, a great one was, was, was Drupal Jam, our camp last year, which peaked at around 500 attendees. And we had a great show, two days, also business involved. So that, that, is, that was a great one. And obviously, you know, DrupalCon Amsterdam last year, the way I was, I was taking part in that, also the track team and the Splash Awards, that was great. So mm. those, are, those are moments that definitely stand out. Yeah, fantastic. The great thing about the Splash Awards, though, is that you know, that is, uh, and that's something that goes to my heart where there's, you know, there's our development community or community uh, that we that we are all part of standing, you know, shoulder to shoulder with clients on stage, you know, uh, being proud of the, of the common work that we do. Um, and that is building a community for me. Yeah, that common, yeah, working together. So it's not just because someone builds Drupal, it's because they're consuming it as well and, and making use of it. 
and changing yeah. the world with it. Yeah. Exactly. And all and those users, together. users out there, like content editors and marketers from the clients that we, you know, that we help with Drupal, that we bring them in and say, hey, you know, you're already part of the community. You just didn't know it. And now you're on stage with us. So be welcome. That, that is a really interesting way of looking at that. I think yeah. that's uh, something we should do more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I know that. Yeah, as as a team, you know, whether you're a developer or whether you're a designer, I mean, I, you're proud if you have your client next to you, you know, taking in that that you know that spotlight. Mm, brilliant. I really should ask at this point if you've anything of any topic that you want to add to this uh, for that might be of interest to the electorate. Well, um, we talked about, I mean, I think that we have a challenge ahead for us, for us all. And, you know, a challenge for the, for the DA is also a challenge for all of us uh, in mm -hmm. a way. So I think that is crucial in the coming months, in the coming year, you know, to, to keep our community united and together. Um, um, you know, and I think it's a challenge to focus on internal advocacy as well. And when I say internal, I mean, you know, within our community. And there's a great lineup of candidates. I mean, everyone is great, like you said, but I would mm. call upon ourselves to find people like you, uh, Rachel, that cross gaps between different kinds of people, you know, because both, um, you know, towards inside, you know, inside our community as well as outsiders, because I truly believe that is crucial. Um, mm. You know, if we want to, to, to grow Drupal and to come out stronger, that we have those, those uh, gap crossers. Well, you'd be glad to know that we have a Drupal booth at the Open Up Summit in a couple of weeks. Good, good. So, good yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, thank you very much, Imra. Thank you. Absolutely the best of luck for the next few weeks and see what, until we see thank what you. happens. And we will uh, see. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Same here. Thank you very much.